so good to see you today. Tell me, how are you doing? Are you having a good week or a great week? That is wonderful. Our true story from the Bible today is all about how the church is God's people showing love. Let's think of some ways that we can show love. Can you give a hug to somebody? Let me see you do that. Oh, a big hug. So good. How about a kiss? Can you blow a kiss? Mwah! Wonderful job. God showed lots of ways that people can show love. They can share food or toys. They can go to church together and even pray together. Let's thank God for that. Get your hands ready. Open them, close them, open them, close them, give a little clap. Open them, close them, open them, close them, fold them in your lap. Repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for showing us how to love others. And together we say, Amen. Enjoy the video. go outside so that birds have little homes to visit for food. There are one, two, three parts to this birdhouse. Part one is the house. The house keeps the bird and its food warm and dry. My friends helped me put together the birdhouse. It turned out great, right? Part two is the landing stick. This is what the bird stands on. Miss Kathy Sue gave us this stick from her craft supplies. The bird can sit on it and sing. Part three is the bird seat. 
My teacher, Mr. Patel, had some bird seed and he shared it with me. He put the food inside the birdhouse so the bird can eat a yummy snack. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Peyton. Who? Who? Does that birdhouse belong to you? Yes, and I had friends who helped with it too. Miss Kathy Sue helped with the landing stick, and my teacher, Mr. Patel, helped by giving me bird seed. People helping each other is a good thing to do. I've got a story to remind us that's true. Listen up. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Hola, friends! I'm Luis, the handyman. <laughs> it's so good to see you today. I'm fixing this chair for my friend from church. And you know what? This reminds me of today's story. Do you want to help me build it? <laughs> Great! Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. <laughs> Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible is about how more people believe that Jesus is alive and they became the very first church. That's right. The church is not about a building. It's about the people. People like you and me. And Jesus wants the people who are the church to love. When I count to three, say love. One, two, three, love. Let's say it again. One, two, three, love. <laughs> Love is what the church is all about. Now, how did the first church love each other? Hmm. Every day, they ate meals together. They learned about Jesus together. They prayed together. And they shared everything they had with each other. If one friend needed a coat, another friend would share a coat. If one friend didn't have a place to live, another friend would let him stay with them. People would even sell something they had so they would have money to help each other. The people of the first church wanted to love like Jesus. And that's what we can do, too. Love. Jesus wants us to... Say it with me when I count to three. One, two, three. Love. One more time. One, two, three. Love. <laughs> and the best part is we can all be the church and love because Jesus is alive. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who is alive? Jesus is alive. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is alive? Jesus is alive. That's the truth, friends. Adios. So there's your story. And it's all true. Jesus taught us how to love each other by helping and giving what we have, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, I love how the church is about people who come together to love one another. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it. Good. I love how everyone came together to help with this birdhouse. Let's go hang it right now. I want to start helping others, even the birds. See you next time. Bye. I am alive forever.
ever and ever. Revelation 1.18 I am alive forever and ever. Revelation 1.18